Danny, come on, come on. We're just, late. Just come in. Oh, hello. Well, as you can see, we're not quite ready for you yet, but don't worry, we'll soon have this place ship shape. Will this do? Yes, that's the one. Now, where should we? Oh, forget it. Where's Barry? Barry, have you got those holiday slides yet? I'm just getting them. Well, don't worry about them now. Just get up here. OK. Oh, well, as you can see, we're still not quite ready for you, but please bear with us. What do you want? Well, look at the state of this place. Hey. There's rubbish everywhere. Look. See what you mean. <sighs> look at it. How dare you? That's my best gabardine. I thought it was a coat. Look, we've got to get this place tidied up. I know. This is our new premises, our new offices. Very nice. You said you'd get a clean room while we were out. I did. It's over here. Oh, come on. Here it is. That's no good by itself, is it? Isn't it? It needs somebody behind it to push it. Well, I never. What are you going to do? Going to do what? You're going to get this place cleaned up while I get a script sorted out. Oh. Oh, uh, well, as you see, we're still not quite ready for you, but uh, later on in the show, we'll be showing you our holiday slides. Have you seen a bin bag? No, I haven't, sack face, and don't be cheeky. Oh, oh the phone. phone. Da -da -da. I'll get it, I'll get it. Hello? <laughs> yes? Oh, indeed. And we don't want any mess. Uh, no, certainly. Bye. Mm. Who was it? That was Brent, the landlord. Oh, Brent, the gent who comes for the rent? That's him, yeah. What did he want? Well, it seems he's installed some new air conditioning in here. Oh. And he's going to come down and check it out. And he said he doesn't want any mess. Oh. oh. Is that all you can say, oh? Oh, dear. Listen, you better get down to the shop and get a dustpan and brush. What? What about the viewers? Uh, don't worry, I'll think of something to fill in while you're away. He'll think of something. I'll think. Over to the McChuckle Brothers. Come here, come here, come here, come here. 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 Come here, come here, come here, come here.
five. That's it. Oh, oh dear. Here we go. Orange juice, please. Stupid thing. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, that's not bad at all. Good. All I need to do now is knock up a quick script and we're ready to do the show. Good. Oh, sorry about this. We'll be with you in just a minute. Now, hey. look at the state of this desk. If there's one thing I can't what stand, it's a messy desk. Oi. Don't you agree? Oh. Right. Now. No, 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 that's no good, no. It's no good. No, no, it's no good. No, no. It's no good at all. What I need is inspiration. I think I'll take a little walk. Uh, while I'm out looking for my inspiration, why not sit back and watch Armchair Theatre? And when you finish clearing up, you can take this lot to the tip. All right? Thanks. Galloping gadflies! Look at this, Lil! Our horoscope! <laughs> Kate said our horoscope because she and Lil were twin sisters. And so, of course, they shared the same horoscope. They were also witches. Not very successful witches, mind you. In fact, the only potion they had was lizard leg and squashed beetle cocktail, which nobody seemed to want. Which is why Gert had plenty of time to read Madame Jar Jar Bastingo's horoscope every day. Happiness, contentment and riches can be yours today Providing you put your old life behind you and make a new start. How can we make a new start at our age? Mm. Why not? I think 113 is a very good age for a witch to retire and make a new start. Lil stroked her bony chin with a long and craggy finger and thought she could really do with a bit of riches, happiness and contentment. So they came outside. They took down the sign which said, Gert and Lil bespoke witches. They gave their ten-gallon copper pot a good scouring out. And then, putting all thoughts of witchcraft behind them, they made a new start. For a while, Gert and Lil sat hunched up over the fire and glared and glowered and grunted and, in general, looked very sour indeed. Well? Do you feel happy and contented and rich for giving up witchcraft and making a new start? Do I look happy, rich and contented? Look at that. 521 bottles of the finest lizard leg and squash beetle cocktail going to waste. It's wicked, the horoscope of yours, Gert. What a joke. Ah, shut up, crowface. Well, I'm going to pay this so-called Madame Bastingo a visit. Happiness, contentment and riches, my foot. And am I invited on this little expedition of yours? Looks like you've invited yourself. They found Madame Bastingo's office on the third floor of an old building in a scruffy part of the town. Inside, they were greeted by a nervous man with a very bald head who glared at them through gold-rimmed spectacles. We're looking for Madame Bastingo. I am she. Madame Bastingo is my professional name. My real name is Reginald Blenkinsop. We've come to complain about this. Both my sister and I have given up witchcraft and made a new start, but we've not found happiness, contentment or riches. Mm, what have you made a new start doing? Well, making a new start must involve doing something, preferably something useful. I mean, what sort of things can you do? We can make lizard leg and squash beetle cocktail. I've got a bottle over here. <laughs> here, folks. <laughs> But too late, Reginald Blenkinsop suddenly stood up, knocking Lil's elbow in the process, and the whole family-sized bottle of lizard leg and squashed beetle cocktail splashed all over his head. Then an extraordinary thing happened. As the sticky liquid dripped off Reginald Blenkinsop's scalp, strands of thick, shiny black hair could be seen, starting to grow on top of his bald head. Reginald Blenkinsop admired his new hair in the mirror, for a good two and a half minutes before he turned around. Ladies, your happiness, contentment and riches, well, a few bob at any rate, are assured. 
But apart from being Madame Bastingo, I'm also sole proprietor of Blenkinsop's Beauty Products Limited. I'd like to buy all of your remaining bottles of Lizard Leg and Squash Beetle Cocktail, providing you change the labels to say, Girth and Lil's Luxurious Hair Restoring Lotion. That can be arranged, but I bet you never thought it'd be so hair-raising. <laughs> and she laughed and beamed a beady eye at Gert. And Gert laughed and grinned a toothless grin back. That's it. Perfect. need is inspiration. I need some inspiration. What I definitely need is food for thought. Food for thought. What I need is food. The rubbish here. Oh, we're gonna have to get back in and get it to the tip. Okay. I don't right. Mean that. It all stuffed in the back. Oh. There's a black one. Eh? A couple of grey ones. Eh? That's it. Yeah, I think that's a nice dog one. Oh, another one. A lot, I think. Come back. Come back in there. That's it. Eh? That's our morning. What are you doing? Oh, oh close the door. Okay then. That's the last one anyway. Get him in there. Right. That's it, that's the one. Okay. Hey, you have that. That didn't take long, did it? Good well, day. We'll have to get to the Wonderful. tip, I suppose, won't we? Yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Go on, let's go. Oh, stop it! Hold it! No, look at the mess. Why didn't you use your handbrake? My hands weren't speeding. Well, we'll have to start all over again now. Yeah. Look, you get at it while I keep a lookout. Why me? Because I'm the brains round here and you're the brawn. I'm not a prawn. A prawn's a little pink thing with skinny legs. Just do it, will you? Oh, clean up here, clean up there. Why do I have to do all the mucky stuff? You know, you're right. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. Yeah? Yeah, you go and keep a lookout for Brent the Rent. 
Do you mean it? Of course I do. Yeah, and when he arrives, don't forget to tell him that you're in charge of everything round here, all right? Oh, right, OK, great. What's he look like? We'll never miss him. He'll have a big, bright red face and he'll be very, very angry. Oh. Paul, why will he be angry? Well, if you remember rightly, he phoned up before and he said he was going to come down and if there was any mess at all, we were in bother. Right. I've changed my mind. I'll do the bushing up. Oh, no, 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 you won't. It's about time you learnt some executive stress. I don't want to wear an executive dress. Well, I you... want to do the brushing up. No, you're going to do it. Come here. I'll do it. I'm doing it. I'll do it. I'm doing I'll it. I'll do it. Come here. Please. Ah, go on, then. Can I? Yes. <laughs> Couldn't de deprive you of anything, could I? No, please. Silly me. Do you know, I never thought I'd be ready in time. No. Uh, where did you put all the rubbish? Oh, um, I got rid of it. Oh, well, at least we're ready for the visit now, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, just a minute. Perfect. Ah. Oh, I'll get that. You get rid of the dustpan. All oh, right. I'm a look. Hello? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, right then. Well, thanks for letting me know. Bye. Don't panic, Barry. What? Visit's off. Is it? Yes. Apparently, that was Brentley Rent's secretary. Was it? Yeah, apparently his new air conditioning's gone all wrong. Oh. Yeah, he's backfired and sent rubbish all over his room. He can't get out the door. <laughs> rubbish? Yeah, apparently he's gone off his rocker. <laughs> oh. I wonder where it all came from. <coughs> what was that? Oh, don't worry. It's the studio vacuum cleaner. The bag must be full. Oh, I see. But... Oh. Fact, that's not a vacuum cleaner. Isn't it? No, that's the new air conditioning pipe. That goes straight up to Brentley Rent's office. If any rubbish went up there, you know what happened. It would come out all over his office and... Oh. I think I'll go for a cup of tea. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> 